People who have served jail or prison time often say their reputation precedes them and their history is rarely forgotten or forgiven. In our continuing series, Dayton Gets Real, News Center 7's Letitia Perry introduces us to several former inmates who are finding the tools needed to become productive returning citizens. Every year, thousands of people come through the court system and end up here at the Montgomery County Jail. Some are even sent to state and federal prisons. The people we talked with said even after they did their time, their sentence continued. Many people aren't productive. Javion Vineyard is an ex-offender who admits he took several wrong turns early on, in and out of the Montgomery County Jail, then on to prison for two years. Yeah, well, I got convictions from the grand theft to firearm charges. After that, I was still on a rocky roll. Like after I got out of prison, I was still messing up and stuff. After several jail stints, Javion says when he heard the judge say two years in prison, he was flooded with emotion. First thought, his three-year-old son, who was used to seeing his dad every day. Like I never seen a kid like stressed out like this. Like his hair was actually falling out. Also in court, he heard sighs and cries from his family members. Well, my mother, my grandmother, and my auntie was there, so it was a lot of emotions because they were in there crying. All typical when someone is sentenced to prison, so says Quinn Howard, who facilitates Montgomery County's reentry program called the Career Alliance Academy for Returning Citizens. When someone does time, that their family does that time as well. More than 600 former inmates have gone through the Career Alliance Academy. It's a month-long course, 29 workshops, three days a week. The returning citizens learn everything from social and life skills to financial literacy, interviewing, and family and workplace communication. Mr. Howard says it's all essential. This is the house I'm renovating right here to making a successful transition New drywall. back to a productive life after lockup. How does he know what that entails? Uh, I am a returning citizen myself. Years ago, Howard served time in a Texas state prison. When he was released, he returned home to the Dayton area in 1996. He held down the same retail job for nine years, earned a master's degree, an MBA, and applied for a career position that he was more than qualified for. I had applied for a job with a uh, major soft drink company, and I won't say who it is, but um, they turned me down. It was because of his criminal record from 10 years prior. For him, immediate clarity. His mission and life's calling became preparing returning citizens for life on the outside. <laughs> January Newport also works with the Career Alliance program. Substance abuse led to criminal activity to support her habit, which led to jail. It was the coming home that was the biggest struggle for me. January understands why family, friends, landlords, and companies are hesitant to trust ex-offenders. But second chances are out there, and she's proof of that. Because I didn't do it right the first time. And I think that my story shows that people fall down, and as many times as you fall down, just get back up and keep going. January 3rd, 2022, graduation day. Cohort 5 graduation. 26-year-old Javion Vineyard is ready. Besides like high school, that's like the first thing like, I actually completed. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying I can change the world. I'm not trying to. I just want to help my community. That's my goal in life. And we're going to do a complete rehab. And that's exactly what he's doing, working to refurbish houses to help the community. New plumbing electricity. Javion says his time away was actually a lesson learned. Now it's onward and upward toward living the life his loved ones can be proud of. In Dayton, Letitia Perry, New Center 7. Nice story, Letitia. Montgomery County's reentry program is one of only a few in the country. Facilitators say based on recidivism rates, it is working. According to national numbers, 30 to 40 percent of returning citizens go back to jail. Locally, only between 3 and 5 percent of Career Alliance graduates return to lockup.